Yo, what's going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and I'm sure you've all seen the news by now, and if you haven't, well, you must be living under a rock. But the original creator of Naruto, Masashi Kishimoto, has taken over as the head scriptwriter for the Boruto manga. He had always worked on the series as a supervisor, but now Ukyo Kodachi, the previous head, has cut all ties with the series, meaning that Kishimoto has taken his place. Now, this is potentially groundbreaking news for the series. According to the official sources, this was always planned to happen. And starting with the next chapter, in just a couple days time, Kishimoto will take over. But I can't help but think there's a slight plot hole in that story. Now, I thought some of you guys may be interested in to knowing what I had to say about this news because obviously this channel is pretty much I'd say 99% Boruto related so when news this massive comes out I, I almost feel obliged to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it this video is going to be slightly less scripted than usual as well just, just so I make sure I get my raw emotions out now, as I was saying, the official sources said that this was always planned to happen since the beginning, but I can't help but think that that's not entirely true. Firstly, how could this have been the plan all along to have him take over now, when if Kishimoto had his way, he'd probably still be working on Samurai 8 right now, which was always the manga he'd dreamed of making. It's only because Kishimoto's cancellation has now left him without a job, allowing him time to step in and take over. Also, you had Ikimoto say this in an interview about a year or two ago, saying that when asked about how the Boruto series and the manga even became a thing, him saying that Kishimoto had no interest or no plans in writing stories for Boruto and his friend. And yet, here we are now in good old 2020 saying that this was apparently the plan from the beginning. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one, Chief. And as for him being the writer for the next chapter, I'm also not 100% sure on that. This one does have more room to be a little bit believable though. It all depends on when exactly Kishimoto was reinstated into his role as the main scriptwriter. If this has happened just a couple of days ago, like the day when the news broke, then there's no way that is true. There's literally not a chance. The chapter will be written, completely drawn up, sent off, in V-Jump, ready for printing as we speak. So either Kodachi is actually the writer for this next chapter, but for whatever reason, they don't want his name associated with it anymore, so Kishimoto will step in and take the credit next chapter. Or this move has actually been orchestrated behind the scenes now for a little while, and it's only just now been made public. But do you see where all this confusion is coming from? There's so many holes you can pick in the story that they've released that it's just it's hard to come up with a logical answer to it all and the reason I've taken a few days to actually make this video is because I wanted to at least make sure I slept on it just to try and gather some extra thoughts I could have woken up with the next day as to maybe why they've decided to get rid of Kadachi and why Kishimoto stepped in and was it really planned from the beginning all of that type of stuff there's some news flowing around that Kodachi was sacked because he wasn't the nicest person to his co-workers at Shueisha. I ain't sure exactly how true that is, so I'm not going to comment too much. One reason why I think maybe Kodachi was moved on is, as we all know in the manga right now, Naruto is on the brink of death. And maybe, just maybe, Shueisha thought that it'd be best to disguise this death of Naruto's under Kishimoto's doing in order to maybe sort of postpone or push back or stop any potential drop in sales from fans as maybe they think that they'll take his death easier or better knowing that it's Kishimoto the original creator of Naruto is the one who's actually killing him off even though Kodachi, Kishimoto, whoever was writing it was going to kill them off anyway. 
We'll have to wait and see what the chapter has for us. If we can pick up on any little differences, which may be any Kishimoto writing habits, for example, that will sort of indicate us what the truth is. But, and this may be some bad news for some of you, but unfortunately, Kishimoto is not drawing the series. He will just be the scriptwriter, and some translations have said storyboarder too. I'm fingers crossed it's storyboarder as well, but he's definitely just the writer and not the main artist, which will be the same role, if he is a storyboarder that is, as to what he had for his previous manga, Samurai 8, where he will write the plot by himself and also draw concept sketches for how the panelling and poses for the manga should be placed out, and then Ikimoto will then use these concept sketches and drafts to then create his own final version in his style. So although Kishimoto isn't directly drawing it, he will at least have some influence on how the art is portrayed. Which may also be an indication next chapter on how long he's been in his role if he is a storyboarder. If we see some slight maybe pose changes or expression changes, placement, panelling, fingers damn crossed we get a double page spread at some point in our damn lives now that Kishimoto's here because please god damn I'd want a double page spread but if we get anything like that then yeah I think it's safe to say that Kishimoto has actually been in this role for longer than we're led to believe. Also I just want to get this out of the way as well because I know everyone gets excited with it whenever we get any sort of production update about the manga so I should say right now there is no news about a weekly release schedule. Zero. Zilch. Nada. It will still be monthly until stated otherwise. One thing I do hope this means, if Kishimoto does end up being a storyboarder, like I said, I'm not 100% sure how true that news is because I've seen conflicting reports, but if he does end up being a storyboarder, I can only hope, and this is not confirmed, it's just a theory of mine that Okubo, who helped draw the Samurai 8 manga, may join the Baruto team. I can only hope to become the main artist for the manga. Now, let me explain my thinking behind this. Samurai 8 was always the, the manga Kishimoto dreamed of making, and so he chose Okubo to essentially be the one in charge of portraying the art of the manga of his dreams. That's some damn high praise right there from one of the goats of the industry. To put that much trust into you, to accurately portray the manga of his dreams. And because Okubo's art style is slightly similar to Kishimoto's, or at least when you compare it with Ikimoto's, it's much similar to Kishimoto's, which may mean that Okubo would have a much simpler, quicker and easier time to copy and stick to the initial drafts and storyboards that Kishimoto will be creating, as opposed to Ikimoto, who has a vastly different art style. So maybe, just maybe, I can hope that Akubo will actually step in to become the main artist and Ikimoto will be an assistant artist like he spent 15 years doing on the original Naruto series under Kishimoto. But like I said, that's just 100% just me rambling on about hopes and dreams and wishes that I have for the future of the series now that Kishimoto is the head of it. But this does bring me on to slight few concerns that I've got. Kishimoto has always worked on a weekly serialization, but has now got to change his pacing to suit that of a monthly release. Now, as someone who obviously has no experience in the manga drawing in industry, I don't know how simple or difficult a task that is to transition between. But it does make sense that it could take some getting used to, but my main concern is actually the anime because Kadachi was the glue which kept the two together. The anime obviously had this 100% canon tagline, so to say, attached to it, where no matter if you loved it or hated it, it tied in to some degree with the manga. Whether it be something small like adding little bits of character development for people like Sumire, or expanding on the main plot of the manga in arcs such as the Kara Actuation arc which is ongoing right now, there was always that bridge between the two, but 
With Kadachi now gone, that bridge, so to say, has now collapsed. And so I'm both intrigued and nervous about what this does mean for the anime, as I'm unsure whether or not right now if Kishimoto is filling in to help supervise it or not. And again, like I was saying before, this like this isn't confirmed about whether or not Kishimoto is going to step in or whether there'll be more filler filler now in the anime because there's not that bridge and all that type of stuff. This is just me giving my 100% pure instant and raw reaction to the recent news. On a plus side though, it's nice to have someone who understands the story better than anyone back in the driving seat. As much as I do appreciate Kadachi and all of the attention to detail he's brought to the Boruto franchise in both the anime and manga, I look forward to seeing some of Kishimoto's classic traits. I'm expecting big things from backstories, emotional build-up and emotional payoff, villain philosophy and so much more. And so I just want to end the video saying thank you Kadachi for these past like what three four years of work you've given us. It's been a blast and I've loved covering every single bit and I wish you nothing but success in your future endeavors and to you Masashi Kishimoto all I want to say is welcome back. Let me know in the comment section down below all your thoughts and opinions and how you're reacting to the recent news. Are you glad that Kishimoto's returned? Are you sad that Kadachi's gone? Let me know. Leave a like on the video as well if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the Senpai Squad. We'll be reacting to Kishimoto's first Boruto chapter on this channel in just a few days time. But until then, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.